Okay, we're holding my Seif Zayin. Okay, we're holding my Seif Zayin. So, just to repeat the, the progression, we've explained. Of course, Zayin already? Yes. Hmm? We've explained that it is through the Tikkun Abris. Of Zayin, you mean? Of Zayin? Yeah, yeah, Chav Zayin. Ah. Seif Zayin. Zayin, okay, you said Chav Zayin. Okay, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So said so it is through the Tikkun Abris, the Kedusha in Inyonitznius. A person is zeicher to learn Torah and to understand it, and through the usage of the thirteen rules with which the Torah is interpreted in which one is able to understand what it is that Hashem really wants from us. Because the Torah itself is basically just one block of letters from beginning to end. There are no pauses, there are no words, there are no sentences, there are no paragraphs, as far as just one long string of letters. So, the words themselves, you know, where you put a, a, um, a space between the letters, that's already in the interpretation where a verse ends is or is another interpretation. Where the Parsha ends is another interpretation. What trap, what kind of 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 musical note is in, is another interpretation. Um, and that's on the rudimentary level. This is available also basically to everybody. But within that, within the exact uh, construction of the Torah, there's the entire Torah that is that, that is embedded in it. On top of which, there is another whole set of rules, which is Allah al the Sinai which is not even, cannot even be darshan from the Torah itself. Let alone, beyond that, there is the level of, of lemmas, which these are hints where uh, there's additional information which is being given from uh, acronyms, the first letters of every word, or the last letters of every word, and so forth and so on. Above that there's the Medrash, which is, the Medrash is the inner meaning of, 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 the, word, of, of, of the word itself being given in, 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 a, in a whole different level. For instance, uh, um, when Moshe Rabbeinu comes to the burning bush and Hashem says to him, Moshe, Moshe, v'yomer hineni. So Moshe Rabbeinu said, so the Medrash says, Moshe said, hineni lemalchus, hineni lekehuna. The Torah says, hineni, here I am. Okay, hineni includes two noons in it. Well, you could have said, hey, he, 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 here I am, you know, was it with two nuns? So says, why does Kamachas and Kehuna? You know, so basically you're saying that Moshe Avenu, the, the most humble man on the face of the earth, Kodesh Baruch Hu calls him up and says, Moshe, okay. and he says, you want him to be 
You want to be a, a king? No problem. Sure, here I am. What, do you want to be a king? Gadol? Sure, no problem. I'm open to, you know, I'm open to, you know, Moshe. I just said Moshe, Moshe. You know, the, yeah, I'll be a king. Yeah, I'll be king. Gadol. This is the big honor. From this you understand, from this you understand, you know, through triangul triangulations, we're holding this if Zion just re from triangulation of when Moshe says Hinan, he says in his the measure says Malchus and Kehuna, and you have the third point by Ishmaisha Anov Mikoladama Pne Adama. He said that every person has every person has some kind of an idea of what he's able to do or what he's not able to do. If I will ask you, you know, to oversee a construction site, you'll go and say, what have I got to do? God? I won't be able to do this. If you ask you, you know, go be the chief accountant for, I don't know, you go, you know, if you ask me to <laughs> balance a checkbook, <laughs> that's how you're nuts. <laughs> Moshe Rabbeinu was such an honor. He was so bottled to Kodesh Baruch Hu. He didn't have any self-image at all of what it is that he could or couldn't do. Kodesh Baruch Hu calls him. Moshe Rabbeinu was such an honor, was such so bottled that what do you want to be a king? I'll be a king. You want to be a street sweeper? I'll be a street, street sweeper. It's, it's no problem. What, whatever you want. You know, it's not, you know, it's not, there's no chashboyness there. There's total beetle. This is the level where the Medrash is telling you, you know, and so forth and so on. In order to be able to dash in the Torah properly, Rabbeinu said that you need to have Shmir Sabris. This is what we learned in the previous, the, the, in, in Simon Vav. That when you are Zoychet Shmir Sabris, you are Zoychet to divide the Torah through the 13 Midas, Shatur and Jashas Bahem. Then you are Zoychet Adas Panem. I mean, because you can be, you know, there's, there's a, a, a professor, uh, there was a professor for Kabbalah, you know, that died, was a total picarious in the Balavera. There's another professor from the Hebrew Union, uh, whatever it is. Picosa, uh, Shabbat Picosa. They know, you know, uh, but that's not, that's, there's no Shmir Sabres, other than Fakir. They're both totally, you know, the one. The, the one that the Kabbalist, quote unquote, the, ex, the Kabbalah expert, you know, stole the wife of his, of his best friend. And, and this one, you know, this, 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 this one, this, this woman who is a professor in the Hebrew Union College, whatever it is in Israel, the, she is, she, one war she has, that's her holy grail, is to prevent women from going to the Mikra. So you can see that, that this is there, the, the totally steeped in filth, Mimela, Mimela, there's no way that they can understand the Torah through the Shlosh Simis and Bezeichet to Adras Panah, which leads a person to to the purification of the call, you know, a spiritual cleansing of the call, through which Yezeichet to Shalom, and through which Yezeichet to the Kaddish Baruch Hu saves you from all, 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 all your, your uh, enemies. That's what we said, that uh, when Am Yisrael came out of Yamsov, <clears throat> there was Zorichat to Chochmah, we said what a maiden servant saw on the sea, you know, Echezkel ben Buzi couldn't see. You know, she saw higher things than the Kirch of Moshe Rabbeinu. So they said, the early of the young king, Yisrael at Oz, you know, so this says even, you know, uh, breastfeeding babes lifted their eyes you know, to say Shira, that's what we said. So Rabbeinu explained it, as we learn in Sif Vav, that, 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 what is oil to somebody who is, he's, you know, he's busy, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's feeding from his mother. You know, so when, when, when they came out of the Chochmah, they lifted their eyes 
the eyes is the union of Chochmah. As we said, oh, I see what you're saying. Now we see what's really going on. Which means now I really, you know, now I see it, you know, now I understand. You know, it's so, the you know, the eight for the Etzadas, and both their eyes were open. So, you know, like the scale was, you know, was removed from my eyes. Now I really see what's going on. Which is that the eyes means the not Chochmah. So when, even babes, when they saw, when they, when their eyes opened, in other words, they became Chochmah, you know, Loima Shira, their voice became, became, you know, became pure. Immediately, what did they say? Oziv Ezim Rasyal. Hashem saves you just from hearing your, your voice. What happened right afterwards? They got to Mara and they got the, the Shabbos. They got to the lake of Mara, the middle lake, and they got, they got the Shabbos. Shabbos is Shalom. Shabbos is Shalom. Right after when Yezoycha to Arvis Ponim, Yezoycha to, uh, to, 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 then Yezoycha to Shalom. This we haven't seen in Zion. It is not a coincidence that when did they get Shabbat Shalom? They got it in the bitter lake, in, in Mara, where the water was bitter. Because it is the way of peace to, to, to be embedded in bitterness. Bivchinas, as Chizkiyahu, a Melech, said when he, when he became healthy, because he was supposed to die, and then, you know, then he became healthy, Hinela Sholem Marlima, here's the peace, you know, how bitter it is to me, and, and, and he says, uh, in Shayao it says like this, Hinela Sholem Marlima, here is the peace, it is bitter to me, it is bitter, you coveted my my soul. No, not to let it go down to purgatory. You threw behind your back all my sins. Rashi, Rashi, Rashi says, what, is it, what, is it, what did he mean to say? He says, Hila Sholom Alimar, I was announced. Sholom. But this, but even though I was announced Shalom, that I will become healthy, you know, so it is still bitter to me, you know, uh, 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 because it's not my schus that you're giving me the refuah, but it's the schus of David Amelach. It's, it's a whole, it's, it's, it's a whole uh, Indian. In other words, you're telling me that I'm actually a sinner. I don't deserve, you know, to be healed. But, you know, you're going to let us slide because David Amel said, you know, do me a favor, you know, be mechazek here. It's a whole, it's, 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 it's a whole, it's a whole, uh, it's a whole it's a And he says, and he says, he says, because Kmoshe Kola Refus and Besami Marim, all the Refus, you know, all the medicines, they come in bitterness, in bitter Refus. The same thing, the same thing, peace, that is really the refuah, the medicine for everything. You know, to the, the illness of the body. And, and because what is, what, what is a machla? What is an illness? Illness is when the, the yesidus of the body, you know, the fire and, and the water and the wind and, and the earth. You know, when they are in proper balance, the body is healthy. But when the balance gets, gets, gets disrupted, this is when machas come in, come in. It doesn't matter what kind of terminology you use, you know, that, that there is a, a, a nutritional imbalance on the intracell level, or there's an imbalance of the, the endocrine system, or there is, there is a, a adrenal fatigue, or you know, there is a, a vascular inflammation. It doesn't matter what kind of lotion you use. It always means one thing. There is imbalance amongst the, 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 in, the ingredients, the factors, they're supposed to be balanced in the body, and they're out of whack. The balance is out of whack. So, 
which and 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 this is when 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 a person has shalom. In other words, when there is peace, when there's balance between between all the ingredients, then the body is healthy. So the shalom is a refer to the body. The same thing is emotional emotional uh, 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 problems. When it's kaviyochal amachloik is between the neshama and the goof. and the 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 shalom is that the body will do what the, what the neshama wants. It is also known that <clears throat> when the neshama is in conflict with itself, it 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 manifests itself with physical problems. You call it psychosomatic illnesses, right? You know, when when you know rage is when a person is angry at others. And when a person is angry with itself, it's depression, you know, and, and so forth and so on. And, and um, all, everything is tied together. Whenever there's machlaikas, whenever there's dispute, whenever there's, there is a war between the elements, you know, there's machla, physical, emotional, spiritual, whatever you want. Shalom is refu for everything. Shalom, that's the refu. Zebchinas, what it is said, so he says, so in Kitzel Akut Amaran, he says about this, and from this, each person will understand to himself, anybody who has real Rachmanas on his life, and he wants to come back to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, mostly, most times, when you start getting into Avoid it Hashem a little bit in the in the ways of the Elohim and to come close to Kodesh Baruch Hu, then immediately he's flooded with obstacles and and Yisurim, a lot from a lot of southern different minyanim. He has no jobs, his wife doesn't agree, his children are driving crazy. You know, it from all places suddenly, you know, everything in you know, Murphy comes to live in your house. Whatever can go wrong, goes wrong. You know, it's like, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's, and it seems sometimes that it's impossible to carry the bitterness and the surah and such, such obstacles. And there are many people that were driven back. They saw such obstacles. This is, there's no way I can do this. There's no way I can, you know, uh, and, and, and the women strachik. But somebody who, who covets the truth, who wants the truth, has to know and believe that all the bitterness and all the Yisurim and all the Meniyas that come to him is a great chesed from a Kodesh Baruch Hu. Because it is, Be'em says, each one according to what's really coming to him. He really would have had to la lenu, you know, uh, 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 Suffer a lot, a lot, a lot more. You know, be, be, because a person needs to have great mirrors for his refuel, and in such in such a way that there was no way on earth that he was able to able to sustain it. Kodesh Baruch Hu throws a lot of of the 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 mirrors behind his shoulder. That's what. Uh, uh, um, Chizki Amelach said, he says, you put my, my refuah in bitterness, you, threw, you, you saved my soul from getting into purgatory, you threw my sins behind your shoulders. Which means, I'm getting peace, I'm getting healthy. It is very, very bitter to me. But nevertheless, as bitter as it is, it should have been a lot worse. But you ever chmanas on me not to put me in purgatory, so you took the great majority of my avarice and threw them behind your shoulder. You know, says, okay, these is on me. You just, you just, I just have to pay for a little bit, you know. You get, you, you get a hanachai in the arnona. You get, you, you get, a, you get a reduction. Discount. What? A discount. Uh, you, you get a discount. You get a, you get a, a, a thing that, that has to, and Hashem is, you know, there will be absolutely no chance for a person to have any refuel. 
A person is, the Kaddish Baruch Hu has great Rachmanus on every person, and he only sends him bitterness and he saw him in commensurately with his Yichayrus, with whatever that he can, he can take. If you couldn't take it, the Kaddish Baruch Hu wouldn't give it to you. This is the, uh, so, 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 he so, 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 says, and sometimes, 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 the, 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 so, I'm sorry, he says, peace to the one who is far and the one who is near. Amor Hashem, and this is what Hashem said, and I will heal, and I have healed him. Peace to the one who is far, to the one who is near, said Hashem, and I healed him. Means that the Ramati la Shalom Malimam. Shalom la Rachok ve la Karov amar Shalom Rafatim. That's the continuation of the Apostle. It comes to tell you that the Shalom, which is the Fuhr, is arriving with bitterness. It's, it's, it's embedded in bitterness. There's nothing you can do about it. And he says, Sometimes the weakness overcomes, becomes so overwhelming. The, 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 the sick person and it has no ability to suffer the bitterness of the refuah. Forget about the machla, but the, 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 even the refuah is already too much. You know, as we know, you know, that, that, that many times, Lalena, the people that are sick with them, that machla, the thing that kills them is the refuah. The refuah is the one that kills them. They, because they, they have no care to take their, their refuah. Then the doctors <coughs> give up, you know, they lift their hands up, <coughs> their hands up and, 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 and they despair him. This, that's how, when they are various, which are really the illnesses of the soul, they become so much, it becomes impossible to withstand the bitterness of the refuah, of the medicine. Because a person has to suffer tremendous bitternesses, you know, to rectify that which we has damaged through his, who is a various. Vaz en shalom amal ha-rashayim. He says, there's no shalom. He, sh- he said to the rashayim, and the rashayim cannot be zoichet to shalom between the body and the neshama, because the various are so great, there's no way in the world, there's no way on earth they'll ever be able to withstand the bitterness which is necessary to make peace between their body and their neshama, you know, to atone for their various. But the Kodesh Baruch is filled with rachim. The Kodesh Baruch is filled with rachim. When he sees that the person wants to come close to him, and he doesn't have the courage to take this, I mean, he can't. <clears throat> some people can, some people can't. He can't. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu has Rachmanus on me. Has Rachmanus on you and on me. And he throws all my and your various behind his shoulders. HaKadosh Baruch Hu like wipes the slate clean. You know, is, 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 is in the area says Mechikat Chovot. You know, you erase the debt. You erase the debt. You know, and in, in the financial institution in, in here is called Tisporet. You make a haircut. You know, they chop off the extra debt, you know, but they do it only for very, very rich people when the debts are in the millions. If your debt is, is 10,000 shekels, they take it towards Alapo and everything. But if you're in the millions, then they make, then they shave it off, you know? <laughs> they write it off. <laughs> make deals. Yeah. yeah, they make deals. You know, so, so uh, he throws all the, in also what? who throws all the sins behind his shoulders so the person will only get the kind of bitterness that he can sustain you know according to his kayach that's it, that's enough so, so Hezekiah was really praising the Kodesh Baruch Hu threw all his sins, all Chizkiah's sins, behind his soul, he chucked them aside. So you, you wouldn't have to, 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 to
to, to, to uh, embed, to, um, to encode the refuah, the shalom, with a lot of bitterness and a lot of pain. He said, it is known, this is a known fact, to achieve peace, to achieve a state of peace, of health, one needs to go through mirrors. However, <coughs> you wanted, you coveted my nefesh not to let me die, not to let me get lost. What it actually <coughs> means, the Rebbe says, <coughs> because you knew, it tells the Kaddish Baruch Hu, that I don't have the ability the, 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 the mental, the, the, the emotional, the physical ability to withstand the kind of suffering that really should have gone through in order to wipe my slate clean. So therefore you threw behind your back, you chucked to the side all my sins. Why? So that the peace, so that the refuah, you know, will 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 be slavish in bitterness, commensurate with my ability to sustain it. It's not because Baruch Hu doesn't give you anything that you cannot take. And this is, <clears throat> and this is the Indian that we said before in Sif Vav about other spawning. That through other spawning you get to purification of the voice, through which you get to Shalom. All this is is alluded to in the pasuk Vavram Zokin, Vashem Bereches Avram Bakol. That's the pasuk. Avram is is old, and Hashem has blessed Avram with everything. <coughs> Avram Zokin, and through this Prinas Zokin, if you remember, Zokin is Hadraspanim, right? That's the the Arich Anpin. Avram was Zoyche to Zokin to Hadraspanim. And through that, Hashem bereches Avram bakol, and Hashem blessed Avram with everything. What is everything? Zeshol. He says, "What? What is the end?" So this is that Kodesh Baruch did not find a keli, a vessel that holds bracha, that holds all the blessings except Shalom. Shenamar Hashem oizam and Hashem yavareches amor b'Shalom. Kodesh Baruch wants to bless Am Yisrael with everything. So therefore, he gives them the one vessel. That can contain everything, which is what? Which is Shalom. So Avram Avinu, Avram Zokin, he was Zechet Ha'ed Asponen. Mimele Hashem Ba'avot Avakol, Zeh Shalom. As it says, Oseh Shalom Vares Akol. Kaddish Baruch Hu does peace, and he creates everything. Because the peace is a keli that can absolutely create, can withhold everything. It is before, before, before we finish, we get one more, because this is an important junction. You know, before before you rush ahead, you have to understand there is no way that a person can pass everything he needs to pass on his way to becoming the Elohim without friends. Yeah. Friends. Huh. Friends in the void of Hashem. You have to be able to have somebody. You have to tell him, you know, all the stories, whatever it is, but you have to have the story, you have to have to have, you know, somebody to call one of your friends and tell him, listen, I'm going through such bilbulim, I'm going through such a Yetzahara that drives me crazy, you know, I have problems with, with Slumbai, so I have problems with children, or I have problems with this, or problems with that, and I can't breathe. I can't breathe. You have to have friends. You have to have friends that you can talk to. Because when a person is alone, I read a medical letter from uh, Dada Kenning last night, just last night. When a person is alone, he's easy prey. You know, when, 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 when a cheetah or a lion runs after a herd of, 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 of gazelles, they're always looking for one that strays, strays away. The minute it separates one of them, that's it, you know, here's lunch. You know, as long as they stay together, you know, then the, so the, the Yetzirah wants to separate you from your friends. 
No, I don't like him so much. Look at him. I don't like his nose. Yeah, I don't like his nose. I don't, I don't like his behavior. I don't like the way he talks to me. I don't know you know he's using me. I don't like him. You know, he's, you know he's late or he's early or he's this or he's that or he's playing with me. He hurt my feelings. And all those are the terutsum of the Yitzhara to put a, 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 a separator between friends. You can't pass the bridge over troubled water. So the, the Geshe Tzalmeoi, that the person needs to pass over in this world Very without nice. friends. No way, no way you can. The Gemara says, O Chavrusa, O Misusa. Either you have friends or you die. You Chavrusa can't do it alone. What? Chavrusa means friends? Chavrusa? Yeah. This is what we learn together. No, Chavrusa means you have a friend. What do you do with a friend? You learn. Okay. What do you have a friend? Well, you go club him. I mean, Chavrusa, <laughs> Chavrusa means that uh, you have friends. Uh, friends exist to tell each other the truth, to be mechazak each other. That's what friend exists for. You know, you know, you know the, uh, listen, you have to be who you are. I mean, if you need friends to watch the Super Bowl, so fine, so watch the Super Bowl, because that's what you can do. But ultimately, it's because this is where you are. You know, and you need some misunderstanding in order to be able to, you yes. know, to hold on. That's where you are. But, you know, but the Ike Kavone is that you need friends in order to, to tell each other the truth, to prep you up when you're going through hard times, to be mechazek you, to, to, to give you a good word, you know, and, 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 and when you're, you know, being a, a Muslim Meshigan, you know, to say, yo, you know, uh, chill out, chill out you know. It's, it's, uh, this is what friends are for. Because we all have to leave this world one day. I hate to you know, break the news. <laughs> I don't know, break the news, but <laughs> you know, I you know, I, I had to be the one, you know, the bearer of bad news. But the point is that that one pays for everything, this way or that way. Okay. This is, we have chosen, we have chosen to join the Navy SEALs. This is what Breslov is about. Okay? You know, the Navy SEALs don't go home at 5 o'clock. Coming at 8 and going home at 5. This is, this is the, the reason why Breslov and Chassidim go through all the, 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 uh, the, the things that they're going through is because this is the final refuel. You're getting a full tikkun. So when you're getting a full tikkun, everything has to be on the table. Everything has to be open. You can, you know, make believe, be make believe through. Everything has to be tended to. Everything has to be found. Everything has to be rectified. It's not always easy. It's not always easy. Cause you gotta have friends, right? Uh, I think I was holding to Sonic Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> There's a troubled 